The pandemic presented rather challenges for couples longing to tie the knot with a significant drop in the number of marriages. Observers fear South Korea's already low birth rate will plunge further. Chae min Jung helps us look beyond the digits. People say third time's the charm. Hopefully, that will be the case for this couple who have already postponed their wedding twice due to strict antivirus policies. Right now, we're planning to have ours in December. You know, we really wanted to be able to have uh, you know, enough people from uh, both of our sides of the family coming, uh, as well as being able to have a real celebration. A recent study showed that the number of marriages in South Korea over a one-year period during the pandemic dropped almost 15 percent compared to the same period the previous year. One expert fears that this could affect the country's already low birth rate. In fact, it's concerning that the decrease may persist for more than two years. There are also concerns that the decrease in marriages will lead to a decrease in births after two or three years. This comes as South Korea has the lowest fertility rate in the world. According to a UN Population Fund report in 2021, the average number of births a woman in South Korea is expected to have in her lifetime was 1.1. This is much lower than the global average of 2.4. Planning a wedding is a long-term thing. You know, it's not just about the wedding. It's also about, you know, starting your family together, starting your life together. Um, and so when it's made really hard to plan for the future, um, it, it can be very discouraging. Considering the current constraints, the government has decided to ease antivirus regulations for weddings. In the case of weddings, we've heard a lot of couples apologizing for getting married. Allowing 49 people, or 99 without dining, is a very small number. So we decided to increase the capacity first for those who are fully vaccinated. Many grooms and brides-to-be have suggested that exempting headcounts for the fully vaccinated would be a fair compromise. Chemin Dong, Arirang News.